everyone. How are you today? I hope you've enjoyed the lovely weather. I think it's not just as warm now, so maybe more time inside to do a little bit of craft. And today we've got quite a bit of craft to do, so let's keep moving on. First thing we're going to do today is we're going to start off with a song. We've had two stories in the last couple of days. One about the very greedy bee and the other one about the very lazy ladybird. So let's start today with a song all about honeybee. I'm a little honeybee, yellow and black. Remember, it's the nectar that the honey that the honey comes from, that the bees gather from the flowers. So let's sing our song all about the honeybee. I'm a little honeybee, yellow and black. See me gather pollen on my back. What the queen bee tells me, I must do. So I make sweet honey for you. Great. Let's have a wee look at how we could maybe make bees and ladybirds in a few different ways today. Let's get busy. Okay, the first thing I did was to go outside and choose four nice shaped stones that I could paint and make into bumblebees and ladybirds. So I got four stones all together. And you can see I'm painting two of them with the yellow paint, the two long, longer looking stones. I'm using yellow paint. So I'm going to turn those into, what do you think? Yes, yeah, a bumblebee. So there we go. And the other two stones, they're more of a circle shape. So they're going to be a different mini beast. But I mustn't forget to paint the back of the stones as well. And then I'm going to start on the other one. And what colour of paint do you think I'm going to use for it? Mm, I think it's going to be red. Yes, for ladybirds. And I remember to paint the back of them as well. Get them nicely covered. There we go. Bit messy. I have to go and wash my hands once this is done. There we go. And then we'll let them dry before we do anything more to them. Now I'm using a black pen and I'm going to put the pattern onto the stones. So for a bumblebee, it has stripes. It's got a stripe pattern. So it's got big, broad, black stripes, just like that. And what pattern do you think, boys and girls, are going to use the ladybirds when I get to them? If you said spots, you were right, because ladybirds have spots. So here we go, I'm doing face of the ladybird and then a line down the back for its wings and when you're putting the spots on boys and girls it's like a butterfly if it's got one two three four spots on one side then it also has four spots on the other side if it's only got two spots on one side then it's only got two spots on the other so each wing of the ladybird is exactly the same and the last thing I'm going to do is stick on some wobbly eyes just to finish. So there's how we make ladybirds and bumblebees using stones. Now we're going to look at a different idea. This time we're going to use our finger. Have a look at this. So for this picture, boys and girls, I'm using colouring pencils. You could use crayons if you want, or felt pens. And I'm doing the grass, first of all, with my green crayon or pencil. Now I'm doing stems. 
I'm going to do lovely petals on the top to make some nice flowers. There we go. Some red flowers and some yellow flowers. After that, I'm going to put the sky in. Nearly forgot about the sky, can't forget about it. And the sky comes right the way down to the grass, remember. Okay, and we need the sun because we need the sun for our flowers to grow. I hope you're still watering your sunflowers, boys and girls. Don't forget about those. And now I'm using my finger and some red paint. And those are going to be the ladybirds. And I've got some yellow paint. I've used a different finger. Oops. And I'm going to make some bumblebees. Once all the finger painting's done, then I'm putting the pattern on them. And as you can see, I've got stripes on the bumblebees. And now I'm putting some patterns onto the ladybirds and doing their spots and their face, and they're lying down the back for their wings. So there you go, boys and girls, a nice idea. Make a nice simple picture. Do all your colouring pencil first, and then finish off doing the fingerprints. And when they're dry, get your black pen and put on the pattern onto your bumblebee and your ladybird. You could also do a caterpillar like that with little fingerprints, couldn't you? And butterflies. There's lots of different things you could do using your finger. So have fun with that. Send me your photos. Let's have a look at our last idea today. For our last craft activity today, we're using a cardboard plate cut in half. And one half we're going to use to make a ladybird and one half we're going to use to make a bumblebee. So let's have a look. There we go. I took a photograph of myself looking very sleepy because I thought I would make the very sleepy bumblebee. And I'm putting on the black stripes for the bumblebee. There we go. And there's more stripes going on. Now I'm putting a final stripe around the edge just to finish it off. And now I'm on the ladybird and they've got, it's got a different pattern. So on go the spots. Remember the same spots on either side. And this time I've got a happy face, but I'm the greedy ladybird from the story. There we go, getting all the spots on. And now I just have to finish them off by sticking on the face and giving my bug some antennae. So now I have some antennae, just like that. So boys and girls, there we go. Our ladybird and our bumblebee using a lovely photo of you, maybe a sleepy ladybird or a sleepy bumblebee, maybe a angry ladybird but you can decide what you want to look like in your photograph okay whether you want to be sleepy or angry or happy or greedy and you can put your photograph on top of your bugs that you make please don't forget send me photographs of whatever you do you might choose to do something different you can have a wee think about what mini beasts you would like to do and have a good look for them in your garden boys and girls if you look under big stones in damp places that's where you're going to find a lot of the creepy crawlies okay but don't hurt them all right have a good look at them but don't hurt them make sure you put them back when you finish looking at them and make sure you wash your hands if you have touched any of them, that's very important. Let's do a ladybird rhyme now. Ladybird, ladybird, fly out of the farm. Ladybird, ladybird, land on my arm. 
Ladybird, ladybird, fly out of the tree. Ladybird, ladybird, land on my knee. Ladybird, ladybird, fly out of your bed. Ladybird, ladybird, land on my head. Ladybird, ladybird, fly out of the rose. Ladybird, ladybird, land on my nose. Well done. Maybe you could try that at home. Maybe you could think of different verses you could do to rhyme with parts of your body. Have fun with that. Boys and girls, until I see you again, it will be next Tuesday, because I have a lot of work to do for all the new boys and girls in September. So I will see you again next Tuesday. Please get working, get making lots of lovely craft and please, please, please send me your photos. Take care everyone, have a lovely weekend, stay safe, bye.